Hey, what's up? This is Nathan from Gotcha SEO. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to find expired domains using expireddomains.net. So I am inside the expireddomains.net dashboard. So what you'll need to do is sign up for a free account and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm seeing here. And you will feel a little overwhelmed by what you see here. So I'm going to just choose one of these options here so we can make it easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick show all domains with TF greater than 20. So TF is trust flow, which is Majestic's metric. And so I'm going to use this just as an example to show you what is going on here with this tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this filter button. And then I'm going to click on additional and I'm just going to select dot com and dot net and dot org. And then what I'm going to do is click apply filter. And then it's going to show me all of these link opportunities. Well, it didn't do it on this first try, but I'm going to go ahead and click here and click on this so we can make it all .com. And so now what we see are all these .com opportunities. And actually, this will only be .com opportunities. So I'm going to copy this first domain and I'm going to throw it into Ahrefs. And so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to see the quality of the links going to this domain. And so in this example, as you can tell, the links that are going to this domain are very low quality because they all say fake Ray-Ban sunglasses, which is the anchor text from those links. We don't need to do a lot of extra research to determine whether this domain is qualified or not because it's immediately disqualified from this process because of this obviously spammed anchor text and link building. So what I'm going to do now is I'm back here in the expireddomains.net dashboard and I'm actually going to sort this list by total backlinks. So now I'm going to copy this second domain here and I'm going to repeat this process again. I'm going to throw it into Ahrefs and I'm going to see if it has a high quality link profile. So right away I can see that this domain does not have many linking root domains. So we know that it would not be a good candidate for the merger technique. And if you were going to use it as a private blog network domain, it would also not be a good one because it isn't powerful enough. But when you find expired domains that have very little linking root domains, it's an opportunity to use the white hat alternative to PBNs because you can actually extract those backlinks from the domain. In this case, it looks like it doesn't have many high quality domains. It has about one link that's worth it, maybe. And it looks like that link is actually pretty spanned, looks kind of like a link farm. So we'd want to pass on this opportunity as well. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go through a few different domains here and see if I can find any high quality opportunities. And so right now I'm in the deleted domain section and these domains usually are not the highest quality. And so what I would do is I would change the filter so that we can actually filter out a lot of these domains, because what you're going to see is a lot of these domains just don't have a lot of linking root domains. And that's something we do not want to be looking at because it's actually a huge waste of time. So we need to find domains that do have a decent amount of linking root domains so that we have a bigger pool of links that we can leverage. So now I'm going to click on marketplace domains. And then I'm going to click on the GoDaddy auctions domains. And the reason for that is because these domains are my favorite. I personally like GoDaddy auctions. And the reason for that is because these domains are usually the highest quality. So I'm going to copy this first domain. And I'm going to throw it into Ahrefs. And it looks like this is not a good opportunity because I didn't set my filters right. So I'm going to go back and set the filters appropriately. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this majestic tab. And I'm going to change the external backlinks minimum to five and then change the trust flow to a minimum of 10. And so this will help filter out a lot of these domains that we don't want to be wasting our time on. So once again, I'm going to copy this first domain, throw it into Ahrefs. I'm going to click on backlinks and I'm going to see if this domain has any high quality backlinks. And it looks like this domain has been spammed very heavily. One way to tell is looking at the anchor text. So if the majority of the anchor text looks keyword rich, there's a good chance this domain has been spammed. Just to verify this, I'll actually go to the anchor text tab over here and see. And so you can tell right away this domain has been spammed to death. So it's definitely not a domain we'd want to use. So now I'm going to copy another domain, throw it in here, and we'll go ahead and check out its backlinks. 
And it looks like this domain is a little bit better than the last one. It has some high quality links in here, it looks like. It doesn't look like it's been spammed really in any way. So what we'll want to do is we'll actually want to click on one of these links to see and validate basically that these are real links and that the links are still live. And so one thing I like to do is I like to usually copy the anchor text and then just run a search. And it looks like the link is still live. So this is not a bad link here. This looks like a relevant website. What we want to do now is just add this domain to our watch list on GoDaddy. Let's do another search for another domain and we'll see if we can get two. Look at the backlinks for this domain. And it looks like this domain has some high quality links from Business Insider and some other great opportunities. This one looks pretty solid. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to make sure that it hasn't been spammed in the past. So this is the second qualification method you need to use. And so we'll see what this looks like previously. And hopefully it hasn't been spammed. And if it has, then we'll go ahead and unqualify it. But let's take a look here using the Wayback Machine to see if it's actually qualified and has been used for spam. So unfortunately, this domain looks like it has been used as a private blog network or maybe even a public blog network. We're going to want to disqualify this domain. So in this case, you could use the links that are going to this domain and use the white hat alternative to PBNs and just extract those links from the domain. But as far as using it as a domain for the merger technique or using it as a domain for a private blog network, if you wanted, it would not be one that you'd want to use because it has definitely been used as a network in the past. So as you can see, this is a very intense process of trying to find high quality expired domain. Just continually go through this list, keep trying to find new opportunities and don't settle on any domains. You really want to focus on getting high quality domains or at least find domains with high quality links that you could of course extract using the white hat alternative to PPNs. And if you're gonna use the merger technique, make sure the domain is a very high quality, has a very high quality link profile. It has unoptimized anchor text and it hasn't been used for spam in the past. And then number three is make sure the domain is relevant to your business if you're going to use the merger technique. That is all for finding expired domains or even expiring domains using expireddomains.net. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.